Hey YouTube, it's Sarah Piggies here, and I'm just going to do a Christmas haul and a small update. So, first of all, I'll start with the stuff I got from Wilkinson's. Um, first, I got these um, Herb and Hay. They're funny little kind of bale things that are they're all wrapped up individually. They've got, well, you can't really see, but they've got like kind of, you know, like raisiny things in the middle with like a little wheel of hay round about it. And they were one pound. Um, I'm not quite sure what it would be in dollars, but I think it might be like seventy cents or something, maybe. Then I got these three treats. This one is a uh, apple apple treat, and it's like the shape of a rabbit's head. Then I got a strawberry treat, which is the shape of a love heart and a carrot treat which is the shape of a carrot and they all cost um, 49p each so like basically 50p then I got some meadow hay rolls so they're basically kind of like the hay cookies from you get from pets at home but that big bag of hay you see there that's how much hay went into making these which I was quite surprised at and they cost um I can't find it on the receipt. Um I think they were three forty nine. So if you get seven of those. Um then I bought these. So just gonna have to them out. So one of them's a parrot, and it's kind of like made out of like, it looks like papery kind of, it's like really fine hay, but it's coloured, and this one's like a big hoop, corn in the cob, and it, it rattles, the other one doesn't, I didn't realise it rattled, and they cost two ninety nine. then I got these things, these are called fun ball tools, and there's like three balls in them. And I bought these a while before, and they didn't really eat the first two, but that one there, it's like got paper on it. They completely shredded that within a couple of days, and they cost two ninety nine as well. And then I just bought some local, local weekly cleaner for the fish tank, um, and it cost two seventy five. So that's everything I got from Wilkinson's. Well, I got some cat litter, like it's. Um, like wood based so it's fine for them if they try and eat it which and it was 15 litres which cost 420 and I bought a couple of things for myself but you don't really throw about those um, and then the pets at home this is what I got for pets at home so first I got a where are the guinea pig sign I've been in, meaning to get one of these for a while but I never really have and it's by Magnet Magnet and Sh Steel publishing.com so you can get like beware of the hamster, beware of the rabbit and like beware of like there's loads of different dogs like beagle and um, staffies and everything I got I got this book because I've, I've got a book but it's not it, I got it years ago when I got my first two guinea pigs so like I wanted a proper up to date one and it just says mini encyclopedia of guinea pigs breeding, breeds and care and on my back it says can't really see it. Compact, compre comprehensive and packed with useful information, this excellent mini encyclopedia of guinea pigs has been written by a top champion breeder with over 40 years experience of, of looking after these charming pets. This book is packed with all information you need to choose, care for and enjoy your guinea pigs. So it's quite a good wee book. It's like really big. So it's got lo loads of information in it. And this cost... Um, I'm going to the seat. Um, hmm. I think it costs like about a tenner, like ten pounds. But my receipt's kind of being strange and it doesn't really want to show me. Um, yeah, it was nine ninety nine. So like a ten pounds. Then I bought a, a medium gravel cleaner for my fish tank as well. Um, 
Yeah, it was like an extra. Well, this cost me. Oh, it doesn't say. I don't know. It was like six pounds something, and it was like five pounds for the smaller one, which was a lot smaller. You can't really see it because the light's gone funny. Um, but it's basically just a tube with a funny little thing at the bottom to. It like sucks up the gravel and then spits it back out again to get all the wee bits in between the gravel. Then I got these, they're like carousel cat toys and they were 99p each but I thought they were really cute and my guinea pigs have got them um, just like jingly balls and I thought I might get these as a wee change for them. Then I got these two things, this is like a star and this is a Christmas tree. Um, they were 179 and it was three for two so I, I've got these two and there was a wee, it looked like a wee Christmas bauble it was red and I've kept that because I know my niece and nephew have got guinea pigs so I've got them a couple of wee like, treats and toys for them so I've kept one of them back for them um, and then I went to buy some rollings so this is the guinea pig one rollings it's like got a wee guinea pig on it and this is um, I think it's like peach and apple flavour um, but my best friend who was there with me, we were both went shopping for our pets at the same time because she's also got six guinea pigs. She went to get some lunch, I'd pick some up and then she decided she wanted some so she went back to pick some up and she didn't realise till we'd got home but she'd actually bought ones for, I don't know if it's dwarf rabbit or just rabbit, but they're like wild berry flavour. Um, but I thought about it and I decided that I'd swap her one of mine so she had a guinea pig one. So we both have got a red, a rabbit and a guinea pig one. And I thought it's basically just rabbit food with the berries in it. And the guinea pigs are allowed to eat that type of berry. And the only difference between rabbit and guinea pig food is guinea pigs have more vitamins in their food. So I just thought it won't do them any harm because it's not as if they're eating it instead of food. It's just a treat and it won't be like all the time. It'll be like once a month or something. So I thought they'd be okay. Um, and I've got that bag as well, which is really hard to see because of the lighting. But it's one of the big pets at home shoppers and it's got like loads of different pets on it. And like there, that's two guinea pigs but you can barely see it. And there's like rabbits, a bulldog, two cats, a ferret, a rat, a golden retriever, another cat, two little hamsters, a big lop bunny, another cat, a dog, a horse and a dash hound. And on the other side there's like hamsters and stuff. Um, and then the um, the local shopping. Um, I got first of all. Oh, you really can't see it. Wait a minute. It's it, well, it's a wheel. Like there's its eyes and its like mouth, I suppose. Um, it's actually a cat bed, but it's really flat. So I thought it'd be great for lap time because if like it's like a I would put it in their cage, but it's really big, so. But that's the size of it compared to my hand. Um, it's my classic. It's this classic Pisces cat bed. So plush soft, softy. It was sixteen ninety nine. And when I when I went to get it, there was only that one type. But I was in the same pet shop a couple of days ago, and they had a shark, and it was like a tropical type of fish. But I like the whale best because the shark, the shark and the fish. I don't think they're as cute. And then I bought some some ready grass. It's friendly ready grass for small animals. And this was three ninety nine. Now, if you don't know what ready grass is, it's basically hay, but it's really green. Um, and when I went on a trip up to to the Highland Show in my home ec department, and they were there was like loads of free samples, and I thought, well, I want to get something for the guinea pigs, but I couldn't like there was nothing really to get for them. So there was this stall giving away free little little like packets of hay and I thought I'll get one of them because it's just hay. But when I got it home it turned out to be ready grass. And so I googled it not wanting to give it to them in case it gave them like tummy problems or something. But it says that I had allowed it as long as you just give them a little bit every couple of days. So since it's the winter and you can't really like the grass isn't as nice anymore, I've bought this. Um and like I wouldn't give it to them every single day. I've mixed a tiny bit in with their food, like because it looks like their food's already got wee bits of hay in it. Um, and all it says is, 
friendly ready grasses for 100% natural feed made ex exclusively from British pastures. Um, that's basically just it's um, uh, it's dried with a low temperature to remove all the water, and it's harvested before hay uh, just to keep it. Um, more flavour and keep all the nutrients in it so it's basically just like really concentrated hay and um, I think it's kind of like if anybody's got a horse like haylage I think it's kind of like that but I don't actually own a horse so but I just know that um, and then I got this roll the hay these are a big thing over in Amer America they're by Super Pet um, this costs 10 99 because one of my sets of pigs, I've got like a proper hay rack, but then Jester had to use, like it's actually like a, a fat ball feeder for wild birds, um, but it was really like difficult trying to get the hay in and out like, in it, and she'd finish it within a d like half a day so I had to refill it again. So I've got this, um, so I'll just open it up to show you. I thought it was really cool because it, you can only really get them in America and I thought I was going to have to order it over the internet but luckily when I was at Wilkinson's, their local uh, pet shop over there because there, is, there isn't a Wilkinson's here, I found this so I'll put the camera down and build it to show you So that's basically it, so it like rolls and I don't know if you can set it, I don't think you would set it on the ground but it hangs up on the cage with these little hooks. So that's for Jester and there's um, a little door here that you put the hay in and it's just popped apart so it's going to fall apart again. Yep, there it just fell apart. <laughs> and it's 